So in this part, which is part six of how to create a zoom range slider, we're going to focus on solving a few items. This one here, and also there at the very end. And finally, of course, we need to zoom in and then it should work and connect that nicely. So to do this, let's scroll down here and work on our item here, which is basically the circle position. So this is not really complete. So what we want to do is we want to avoid it, that it will never go here. So what I want to do then in this case, we know the position of this here. So what you want to avoid is that, that's basically just an if statement. If it is left, if left, then we're going to set or lower than left. We always put this on left. So if I save that, refresh. Oh, uh, let's see here. Probably I'm forgetting here. A colon and then colon and else it will be this. So let's do that one here. So now you can see if I go here, it blocks me. As you can see here, it doesn't want to go. But you will notice that the moment we are out of the, the area, it will stop, of course, because of the dragging of, foul, of uh, false of mouse out. So if you want that design, uh, that effect, you can play around with that. You have to just look with that. So next, we want to do it here, same logic. So basically what I'm doing here is another one here. And uh, let's see here, we're going to say the argument. If the argument, I guess we can do it like that. And then if the argument is far, further than right, then we're going to say set it on right or else I want to have args.event.x. So basically, if you're going further than there, just always make it fix on the value here. As you can see here, it just doesn't want to go. And now we have that nicely fixed. All right, so now we have this done. And basically, we could now do the final item, which is basically quite straightforward. It's a chart.update. And then we're going to do this, save, refresh. Of course, this here is not yet working. But what I want to do here, and this is the final part that's which is really important. We're going here between or anywhere else you want to do. But I'm going to say here, after the update, what are we going to do here? Well, in that case, after the update, I can just grab all of this. Just put it in there. Then I want to do something very specific, which is the adjustment what I showed you here on the X scale. If you do X scale... And then we say here, for example, min equals one or whatever the prior, whatever the value would be. I'm going to do the same in here, but then I'm going to say here chart dot options because I want to go into the options of this specific chart. And then I'm going to say scales dot x. Then I say dot min equals what exactly equals the min value. And remember the min value that we have here which was a hoisted value here. Save this, refresh. All right, interesting. I think I forgot a comma. As you can see here, make sure you have a comma. Save, refresh. Now we have this all nice working. Beautiful. Of course, there's one tiny hiccup in here. I cannot figure out that one is when this is updated and you go here, you see it was stuck. So that's the only warning I have for you. The only solution what I would say here is when we are in the chart area, block this animation. That might be an option, but yeah, that's, I guess, the only way. I have no other option for this. So in the last video or the next, next video, I'm going to focus on how to remove this to the bottom here. That will be the final video.